The Bureau has had a long and tumultuous development. Originally just called XCOM, the game drew anger from fans by being a first person shooter and eschewing the series' tactical roots. 2K Marin was eventually pressured into adding strategic elements, but the success of Enemy Unknown and the effects of bad press led to it becoming a full on half third person shooter, half real time strategy game. Full on. And I can give you that history lesson during this story section of the review because there's that little story to talk about. A man has a gruff voice, aliens attack, the bureau is made to fight them, and then a cute but cynical attempt at fourth wall breaking happens at the end. Case closed. Mouths yawn. The Bureau is a game lacking in confidence, afraid to break away from XCOM's roots, but too scared to embrace the past wholeheartedly. This week's spin-off is a game of half measures, with a mediocre and factory standard whack-a-mole cover shooter marrying itself to a squad-based command system that suffers from clunky controls, awful ally AI, and a need to babysit rather than command one's team. The player character and squaddies each have their own abilities, with the protagonist using support abilities, heals, creature summons and so forth, and customizable chums belonging to the support, recon, commando and engineer classes, each with their own predictable skills and levelling options. Each element of the bureau is as simple as can be, with a battle focus mode allowing one to issue commands while the world slows down. The trouble is, the marker to designate positions and commands loves to get stuck on walls or certain windows as it can only be moved like a physical character, rather than a, well, bloody tactical marker. Level design is predictable and missions near identical as players trudge from corridor to kill zone to corridor to kill zone. Enemies take too long to put down, weapons are weak, and while everything works just well enough to be playable, none of it goes above and beyond a lethargic minimum of effort. The game's visual design is thematically consistent with its gameplay, in that it's jarring and doesn't seem to know where it belongs. The 1950s aesthetic of levels is regularly broken up with grey alien structures in a way that could have been effective in a better game, but it's so slapdash and understated here it just comes off as atmosphere breaking. The generic designs and brown overtones of everything further mar the experience, and while the aliens themselves are fun to look at, they lack anything of the variety in something like Enemy Unknown. What to say of the sound? Music is forgettable, store-bought, studio pap, while the voice acting is droning and delivered with all the feeling of a pebble in a refrigerator. The very name of this game tells you just what a coward it is, XCOM The Bureau Declassified. 2K is pushing it as a new IP, but it's too afraid to let that recognisable brand name go, isn't it? It wants to appeal to everyone, but is unwilling to commit to anything, and as such I feel it pleases nobody. The Bureau is exactly the kind of audience-fearing, overly tested, product-minded exercise in cynicism that are a dime a dozen in the game market these days. If it didn't have that brand name, it'd be no better than all the other two-bit Gears of War clones out there, albeit with a one-bit Spec Ops overlay.